you know, I, I realize that a lot of people, especially people who work in the finance sectors, they always make it seem like, oh, it's so easy, you know, just, you just fucking invest. That's easy, you know. Just invest. Your money will make money. Yeah, thank you. Guy who's been practicing and studying that thing for years and probably does it still every day, which is what my financial consultant told me. It's not, well, I mean, that's why I like him. He doesn't go, he doesn't tell bullshit like that. He's like, if you want to invest, you have to literally always live, breed, and shit investing stuff. Read about investing. In, inquire, like, you, you have to watch shows, videos, read about it. It's not enough to just like, oh, you know, I'm going to Google it. I'm going to invest in this and that's it. I'm done. You know, I'm making money. No, it's not how it works. You have to literally always keep track of all of these things. That's the only way to be successful. And there's still chance of uh, failure, you know. So, you know, like for a regular person who just wants to get a house and live properly, it's so hard these days to save up money, you know. And then we have boomers who are like, oh, what the hell? You're so lazy. Back in my day, I used to clean toilets where bums would shit. I was making five cents an hour, and look, I got my first house at the age of 25. Yeah, well, good luck. Thank you for that information that gives me no... nothing. I'm happy that you had the times, the economic times, where it was enough to work anywhere, and you'd still be able to save up money for your house or whatever. It's not how it works now. You have to go through... Like, you have to literally have two, three jobs to have above average salary, you know? And ab above average salary doesn't even guarantee that you can, like, save for a house or an apartment fast enough. It's still gonna take time. Yeah, but it's not easy to keep track of big news. That's the thing. That's the thing, man. People make it sound like it's easy to do. Like, oh, just keep track of big news, you know. That's not hard to do. Yeah, well, it is a little bit. Because you as a person, you have to have like a schedule almost. You have to like follow specific websites and then you have algorithms who keep up and then they like stop showing you specific um, specific content that you subscribe to because for God knows why, what reason and you even forget that these things exist. Then you have like IRL issues that you have to deal with and you kind of skip or stop, you know, listening to these news. You know, there are so many things. It's not that easy to just, oh, just listen to big news and you'll know about it. No, it's not enough. I definitely don't believe that it's enough to l just keep track of the big news. To be able to invest. Like, that's, no, that's not the case. Like, it's not enough, man. Unless you're willing one day to wake up and realize that you lost all of your assets that you invested in, then yeah, go ahead. It sounds too easy, and a lot of people say it's easy. A lot of people say, a lot of people who are interested in your money to pay that you pay to them, they will always say that it's easy. It is easy for them. And they will always say these things because they just want your money so that you pay them because they said something incredible to you because they were like supportive. But in reality, I don't think it's that way. If it was that easy, everyone would do it. Why doesn't everyone do it? People have shitty jobs. People have multiple jobs. People have families. How are you supposed to keep track of everything? It's like that, uh, that thing that I keep hearing more and more. Where um, rich people keep saying, It's easy to have a healthy lifestyle. Just do it, you know? Like, you're lazy. You're not doing it. Uh, that's why you're, you know, like you're not healthy. But, you know, when you look at it, like, rich people have a lot of shit, a shitload of time, first of all. Because they manage to save it by spending money on stuff that saves them time. Second of all, they have money. <laughs> you know, and they can get the healthy food because the healthy food, as we know, is more expensive. Like, let's be honest, it's more expensive than the shitty food. And when you have time... You can't go exercise, you can't go, you know, do yoga shit. Or if you're like a 9 to 5 worker, and worse yet, if you're like a factory worker who works 12 hours, you don't have time or energy, and then you have 
family that you have to take care of because you, do, you can't afford to hire a nanny. Yeah, you come back home. Yeah, you're f gonna go do yoga. Yeah, right. You know, you're gonna sh you're gonna be exhausted mentally, physically, always. You're not gonna f go and do yoga. And this is why people aren't healthy. This is why people aren't happy because they're stuck in that loop. But you know, when someone rich says, "Oh, it's easy," you know, you're just lazy. Well, f off, you know. Yeah, cook a lot more. That's also a thing. Cook a lot more. Tell that to a single mom. Who has two kids or one kid even? Tell that to her, and who also has to uh, tries to manage a job. Cook a lot more. Oh, that's easy. You just need to cook a lot more. You know, why why the hell are you not cooking? Yeah, sleep less. Sleep for five hours. You'll manage the everything in time. Like you wake up at five, you get ready for work. You drive to the, you drive to work for at least an hour. Let's say some people drive for two and three hours. You get to the work, you work there till five. You get back home by seven. Then you have to cook for like an hour. Then you, yeah, let go exercise. You know, then take care of the kids, all the stuff that kids need. That's easy, you know, easy life. Oh, and also read a couple of books because you need to know stuff. Also, go online and check the news, not any news, go to specific websites, read articles about investing because that's easy. And then go to those websites and invest, you know, Pff, easy life. <laughs> yeah, right? Couldn't be easier. People are just lazy, huh? <laughs> I don't know. It's such, a, it's such a hypocrisy in my opinion. People who talk like that, they're full of shit, honestly. You can improve, yeah, of course you can improve some stuff, like you can get your life a little bit better. I'm not saying it's impossible completely, but it's definitely not as easy as a lot of those people make it out to be. It's not impossible, but it's very hard, and it, not everyone is able to endure it. That's the thing, you know? Like You have to have insane amount of organizational skills, planning... And also you have to be single or not have a kid because kids, I don't care what kind of organizational skills you had. I don't care how well prepared you were for everything. Kids mess everything up, everything up. And it takes years for you to get back into the same loop where you, you feel like you're in control of everything. So, you know, managing family, managing your work, especially if you have two jobs, because one work is not enough anymore to pay for everything. You have family, two jobs, you have, um, well, I mean, you have those, right? And then to be successful, you need to, you have to invest and then you have to uh, keep up with the news. You know, you have to uh, also exercise. You have to eat healthy, but to eat healthy, you have to spend more money on it. Honestly, everything is just a big loop. That a lot of people who say that shit as if it was easy don't realize or don't think about. It. That's the thing. You have to compromise all the time what you want to do. Same like with my job, my part-time job. Do I want to do my part-time job and make a little bit of extra money or do I want to like develop my skills maybe in video creation, you know, YouTube and make YouTube videos and maybe possibly that gets me anywhere. You can't have both. That's my point. You can't have all. You have to choose. Whereas rich people, they don't have to choose. Because they have everything, they have the money, and they can like buy whatever they're lacking, they can buy it. They can buy, they can literally buy time, and time is the biggest currency. But then when they speak out of their asses, saying, oh, it's easy, f*** off, it's not easy. And I hate these fake stories of, oh my god, Bill Gates was a student with 5 IQ, he didn't even finish school, and he made Microsoft and now he's a billionaire look at him look at that success story or Steve Jobs he was a poor student he had no money he was living in a closet and he made a global billionaire company
almost all of those are fake. And almost all of those guys grew up in rich families and they had the capability of quitting schools and colleges because <clears throat> they were covered for their life with their parents' money. There are maybe a couple of them that are real, but most of them aren't. And they're literally made up so that people bought those books, bought those inspirational, you know, talk shows, not talk shows, but like talks, you know, where they like go online. Oh, buy this video for only $50 and it will change your life because it will tell you how you have to live. And it's a, it's a person who is the most successful person in the world. And if he's saying that, it means it's true.